Hi, and welcome to SimCast Studio tutorial video on banner text. And banner text has been added to SimCast Studio as a new feature of scrolling text. Unfortunately, it is not in the broadcast version or the free version of SimCast Lite as of the making of this video. But if you are a SimCast Studio user, you are going to see this new tab called Banner. Let's have a look. Okay, by default, we have added in to the database that comes with SimCast Studio. Um, some headline file names. And these are basically meaningful names to a pass of an XML file or a URL to somebody's web server where there's, again, an XML file, most likely, for an RSS feed. So basically, it works on the principle of RSS feeds, where it uses as the element in the RSS feed with the name of title, which in this case, we're going to use the word headline because it usually is a headline. Uh, go to www.simcast.eu homepage, click on the menu, and click on the word tutorial videos or tutorials. And in there, you will see a video on a free software that we're providing, which is on the products page called SimCast Banner Editor. And it's a software that's completely free that allows you to easily make the text scrolling file that scrolls your text in the scrolling banner in SimCast Studio. And what we see here, I'll just put on preview. Preview allows us to preview what we're going to see being gone out on the program. Program is what you're broadcasting, recording, streaming, etc. And that's where the banner text will eventually be put on. We'll get to that now in a minute. So as I highlight each of these, the text changes. In this case, to RSS feeds in URL. So for example, if I go down to Sky News and I click on it, it's scrolling the RSS feed from Sky News. Now it's in the one from BBC News. And again, from wherever the RSS feed may be. But of course, it's your show with your text about the information you want to provide. And in that particular case, we select any of these, highlight that scrolling. We right click to give us a menu. And in that specific menu, we can create a new URL. In here, I'm going to type in the word test XML file. I'm not going to enter a URL to somebody's web server, website. Instead, I'm going to select a file that I've created with Simcast Banner Text Edi Editor, the free software that you can download. And I call this My Next Show. And it's just an XML file, and I have some small bits of text in there. I scroll down, and now when I click on Test XML File, the data that I have entered through the banner text editor is now scrolling. And it's one file. And that file's pass or link, if you prefer, is now stored in SimCast database. So the next time I open SimCast database, I will see my test XML file. And as long as I have not removed that XML file from the computer, it will be visible. If you have removed it, obviously you're not going to see anything. So um, I just want to right click here again. So we can edit the selected URL. And in here, we can change the file, change it to URL, or change the text. So maybe we just give it the meaningful name of test is enough. And click Save. OK. And we can right click, um, we can click Delete the selected URL, which will delete it. It doesn't delete the file. It just deletes the link to headlines, the URLs. These are called headlines, but they're just URLs. A URL to a location, whether it's on your local computer or whether it's somebody's RSS feed on their server or yours on your server. Uh, to edit, create a new one, which we have discussed, and it allows us to refresh if it kind of seems like, where is that one gone? And then you it just basically reloads the data. You've got position and resize. 
position resize works on the same principle. See the way that just stopped there and paused? That's normal. What it does there when it reaches the last line of text, it stops for two seconds, pause, gives a little I'm starting again and starts to rescroll all the text over again. So you'd be familiar with this sort of positioning uh, from the lower thirds and virtual sets in Simcast Studio, uh, where we can move the item, as we call it, around to different areas of where you want it to be on the screen. You, Sorry, I keep doing that with this computer. Um, you can change the width and change the height in the old familiar way. Obviously, the height is just crazy, but let's just leave it like that for now, and we put it up here somewhere. Because what I want to demonstrate is adding in values to it. So, for example, I put it with a 1,800. Keep it in the range. Remember, it's full HD. Keep it in the range of between 50 and 1920. If it's below 50, it won't work because it's just considered too short. And the highest, keep it higher, greater than 50, and no more than 1080. And I'm going to put it at 80 in this particular case. Uh, can leave the exposition for those who may not know. Exposition is from the left side of the screen going horizontally all the way across. So if I put it at 50, it comes to somewhere around there. And the Y is from the top all the way down, going from 0 down to 1080. OK. So maybe let's put that in at 1000. Mm -hmm. OK. So now when I highlight this and right-click mouse button, I get a little menu saying Move Item. If I click on this, left-click, it goes to those exact values. It's just another way of doing this, where you know something is going to be where we normally use it, and you don't have to move things around. You know it's going to be exactly where you want it. And that's when it's a good idea. OK. And we just, sorry, close that down. So here, when we click the banner button, it goes to a program mouse. We've got a speed button here. The more we go down to nearer to 1, the faster the text goes. And the more we move up towards 30, the slower the text goes. Its length of text is also relevant to the speed. So you might say, that seems a little slower in 10 than the previous one. It's just really due to the volume of text, because the length of text is in the calculation of speed also. Um, and again, as we click on any of these, we can see a change in here. So that just reminds me, what am I on at the moment? So if we don't see this highlight anymore, we know that what's scrolling is CNN Video AA, it says here. And we're clicking it now, we're scrolling Sky News. And once again, we can give it a design appearance. As familiar with most of the SimCast design, you can click on the font and change its color, its type, and whether it's going to be bold or not, or italic. You can change the background color with the background color picker. Let's make it red, which I think is default. And you can select an image if you want the background to be an image. It could be some glossy black as an example, where you may not just want it to be a color. You might want something gradient added in there from an image point of view. Um, suggested recommended height for that would be 1920 for your image. Uh, maybe around 80 to 100 in its height, more than adequate, and then it'll resize correctly without pretty much no distortion. Should not have any. Um, banner text, okay. Again, it works in the same principle as our downstreaming. It is a layer on top of the program mouse, meaning whatever switch behind it, as in cameras, video players, etc., will be behind the banner text as long as the banner text is on. Uh, again, you can go to the keyboard shortcuts, and you can look up for all the various things where we don't want to use the mouse in SimCast Studio. Uh, we can see that the banner on and off is Q. So I hit the Q key on the keyboard. It's on. It goes off. And if it's off, hitting it again, it comes on. Okay? Okay. So let's roll a bit of video footage here. So let's take... Uh, I think shortcut key is 7. So let's 
take seven. And you can see the banner text remains there. Now we're going to go to eight. Just mute that. And this time I'll click keyboard, numeric keypad eight button, which should be auto transition in. Let's mute that as well. Okay. So, um, basically, the point I'm trying to make to you uh, is no matter what we switch, the band of text remains there because it's a downstream and it's downstreamed onto the program mouse. So, it means we can just change technical director, can say camera one, switch to two, switch to three, and it could be various, you know, it could be news, it could be weather, whatever the case may be. And the banner scrolling text will remain there for as long as you leave it on. Okay. So that pretty much covers everything on the banner text, scrolling text. Uh, I strongly suggest that you download the free banner text editor uh, from Simcast Studio, which is a simple way to create the correct files, and you know there's going to be no issues with them. And um, basically, uh, there is a tutorial video there on how to use the banner text editor. Even though it's simple, like anything, if you don't know, it's not simple. When you go watch the video, you'll realize it's incredibly simple. And there's not a lot to it, not to the program, not how do you create it. But it's a quick way for you creating your banner text files and pulling them in for your show as you want to scroll. And it's done as an outside program because there's obviously sufficient, a, lot, a big workload in producing a program. And the last thing you want to do is creating text files inside in the middle of doing the show. It's too much for anybody. Okay, so once again, the website is www.simcast.eu. And thank you for watching. Bye now.